Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to talk about how we can draw tiles in a rectangle to help us find the area. So our learning goal for today says, I can form rectangles by drawing tiles to find the area. So the materials that you'll need are, you'll need 15 square inch tiles, you'll need a ruler, and a whiteboard. So make sure you grab those materials and then we'll get started. All right, friends. So we're going to use square inch tiles to show this rectangle as an array. So we know that one side is two inches. We need two rows because that's two inches and each square tile is one inch. So we're going to place the tiles to make this known side. So go ahead and pause the video. I want you to place two tiles to represent your side of two inches. All right, so here we go. Now we know that our area is 12 square inches. So how many total tiles will we need to make our rectangle? Yeah, we'll need 12 tiles because the area is 12 square inches and that's how much space it's going to take up. So how many twos are in 12? So if I were to count by twos to get to 12, how many times would I do that? Yes, yeah, six. So six twos. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Use your tiles to make six sets of two. And then you can skip count to check your work to make sure that you have twelve. You can skip count by twos. All right, so go ahead and pause the video and you're going to make six sets of two. Click play when you're ready for the right next step. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. All right, so there's my six sets of two. Push your tiles together to make a rectangle now. So instead of having those gaps there in between, push them all together so you have two rows of six. All right, so here's what mine looks like when I push them together. And then I have my rectangle that's back. So this one side length, I don't know the side length of that one. I know that I have two inches, but I'm trying to figure out that unknown side length. Can I use my tiles to help me? Yeah, I sure can because remember when we talked about the side length was two inches, so I had two tiles on the side. Then how many tiles do I have across the top? Yeah, six because there was those six twos. So I can replace that question mark with six inches. All right, so let's write an equation to model this using the area or to model the area using our side lengths. So we would have Two inches times six inches equals 12 square inches because the area is the total in this case, the product. So the area is the product of the side lengths? My mind is blown, friends. That's amazing. So those two side lengths, I can multiply them to find the area. Holy cow, well, we're so good with multiplying that this is really going to help us with finding the area now that we know that. Man. Is anybody else's mind blown too? Pretty awesome. All right, so we're going to use square inch tiles to show the rectangle as an array. So if I know that this side is 5 inches and the total area is 15 square inches, I want you guys to take that information and I want you to create a rectangle. So 5 inches is one side length. You have to find how many fives would equal your total area. So go ahead and build a rectangle that models that. Click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. Otherwise, I know 5, 10, 15. So my unknown side length, I can write an equation to help me figure that out. Remember we talked about last one, but that was my mind was blown that we could just multiply the side lengths. So right now we have an unknown. So we could do what, friends? Go ahead and write down an equation with an unknown. So remember an unknown represents, has a letter that represents the unknown. So for example, you could just do maybe S for side length. So go ahead and pause the video, write an equation, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, so I came up with 5 times S equals 15 because we know that the two side lengths 
multiplied together are the product, which is the area. So S equals what in our equation, friends? Three, because it's just that top side length. And we could check that by saying five times three does equal 15. All right, so let's lay some tiles on the board to make a side that's three inches tall. So go ahead and do that. On your board, lay out three tiles to represent three inches tall. All right, so let's trace around those tiles. So on your board, trace around those tiles just like I did in yellow. Okay, so now we're gonna draw horizontal lines to show where the tiles connect. So the way that you could do that is take off your top tile and then draw the line right here. And then take off the second tile and you would draw the line right there. And that's how you would get your two horizontal lines. So let's use tiles to make another side that's seven inches long. Well, I don't wanna just add on seven tiles because I already have one tile right there. So I'm gonna add on six tiles because six plus the one tile that's already in my first group is already there and that makes seven. Okay, so go ahead and do that. And then trace around those tiles like that. All right, pause if you need more time. All right, now we're gonna draw the vertical lines to show that where the tiles connect. So just straight down. All right, so we know that that's seven inches across the top because the side, the number of tiles is the same as your side length. So how many sets of three will be in this rectangle? Seven, because that's the side length of the top. What strategy could you use to find the total area of the rectangle? Well, we could draw the rest of the squares in and count them. We could skip count by threes. We could multiply seven times three because of that commutative property. So let's just draw them in. So I'm gonna fill in the square or the rectangle. And I'm gonna draw in my tiles. Does seven inches times three inches equal 27 square inches accurately give the area of this rectangle? Yeah, it sure does, because if I multiply those two side lengths, I'm going to get my area in square inches, remember. All right, so use your ruler and draw in the tiles and then skip count to find the total area. Write a multiplication sentence for the rectangle. All right, so if we know that we have three inches along this side, and we're finding out what the area is, we're able to fill that in the rest of the rows. So you're having to do three times what equals 18 to find out how many rows you need across the top or how many squares. Remember, you could also build it by having skip counting by threes. So you could have a group of three that's already there for us right here, okay? Then you could put three more next to it and count six, three more, nine, and so on until you get to 18. So go ahead and pause the video. Create your rectangle that has a side length of three and has a total area of 18 inches. And then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. So I can fill this in because I know that three times six equals 18. So three on one side and six across the other gives me an area of 18 square inches. A multiplication sentence we could write would be three times six equals 18. All right, so yes, you guys did a great job drawing tiles to find the area. Please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends.